Pump your bags? Oh, no, yeah, pump my bags, that'd be huge. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so uh, Punk's Comic 3 will be the crossover uh, with the Meta Hero universe. To this point, Meta Hero has sort of looked and felt similar to Punk's. And so we're in the process of giving the Meta Hero universe a complete makeover. Uh, we're, we're super thrilled to announce that we've been working with Blur Studios to re-envision everything that Meta Hero can and will be. It's actually in the process of a rename as well. Um, we went to Blur because we were sort of inspired by what they did with Deadpool, right? So those of you who, who have seen Deadpool, it's, it's amazing. And if you haven't, I really recommend you see it. But they reimagined what a superhero could be, right? With that like snarky humor. Uh, and then also uh, Blur does Love, Death and Robots. Shout out to season three, which dropped today. Uh, the look and feel of, of LDR is really sort of what is inspiring our future vision for what the Metahero universe will look like. And so, as part of that, if you have a metahero now, you'll get a future sort of like reskin of that character in this more like tech, sci-fi, blur kind of style. So currently, when I look at the entertainment coming out of Web3, there's a gap between that and the level of quality that we see coming out of Hollywood right now. But it sounds like what you're trying to do is close that gap. Because if that's correct, how do you expect to do that effectively? And how do you see your, like how long do you think that'll take for you to be able to do so? Yeah, I mean, creating truly great content takes a while. And I know in crypto, it's like, when, 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 when. Uh, <laughs> but we Literally. expect the content that we're going to create to take, you know, maybe a year's time. But it's all about closing the loop and, and bringing the community in to be a part of that life cycle, right? We want to give people early looks at, at what the characters are going to look like, get people involved in the storytelling. And so we're still in the early stages of it all. And we're definitely going to keep it gamified. Uh, we've teased Dots, which are the next characters that are going to come out as part of MetaHero. Those we expect to be dropping sometime in like September. We're going to be rolling out the blockchain game, activate all the DAOs we have in the MetaHero universe. So it's going to be really exciting and uh, just focusing on taking the time that's required to yeah. put out truly great content. So I know you're starting to tackle entertainment and we're talking about IP, but IP can come in different forms. Um, I, I saw that you were teasing out in the community letter this whole idea of like pixel vault sports. Uh, what's the rationale behind that? Like, why are you getting into a whole different category when you're also yeah. already doing the entertainment scene pretty effectively? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if many of you have seen those old Walt Disney sketches of of how he envisioned entertainment connecting, but sports, you know, what better vehicle to tell stories, right? Um, when I was a kid, you know. I loved comics, but really actually my passion was the sports. Like these athletes were larger than life superheroes to me. Um, and so getting the opportunity to tell their story in a way that's, you know, it's not like the biography of Kobe Bryant, right? It's getting to tell the story of someone through sort of this comic book lens. And so in kicking off PV Sports, uh, we're gonna be working with some of our favorite athletes and telling their stories through the lens of Meta Hero and Punks and we're gonna drop those comics to existing holders. So it's not something we'll sell, but uh, giving them, you know, people that are, these athletes are passionate about Web3 too, giving them a chance to communicate with, with our amazing community, and then also add awesome real life utility. So, you know, autographed jerseys, bats, you know, whatever it might be, attending a game, a yeah. playoff game, the Super Bowl, uh, and then also maybe some really exciting, like one of one experiences, like imagine, running the field in this stadium and catching passes from your favorite quarterback. So trying to give uh, give athletes uh, a different sort of spin on telling their story. And then I grew up playing basketball. That's been my favorite sport, but like, what did you, what did you grow up playing and what do you love? Yeah, I mean, I grew up playing baseball, basketball, golf, um, but really like baseball was, you know, ever since uh, I was like four years old, you know, I'd be walking around rocking my Dodger blue if, if anybody sees me around, usually usually I'm wearing blue. I had my uh, my blue hundreds hat on uh, earlier today. Hundreds hat. Shout yeah. out to Bobby and yeah. Ben. <laughs> we, we we ran into Bobby earlier. Um, so yeah, so baseball has been a, a passion of mine since I was very young, and uh, I was fortunate enough to meet uh, this guy Kenny Gersh, who's a who's a like a really avid collector in our community, and he wanted to figure out a way to bring Major League Baseball into sort of these native Web three communities. And so as of today, uh, we've partnered up with Major League Baseball. You're going to see in the, in the Friday night baseball game today, uh, first inning behind home plate, you'll see the Pixel Vault banner. 
Uh, we're going to be working towards a longer-term partnership, and we're sponsoring the defensive play of the day. So it'll be the Pixel Vault lockdown defensive play of the day across socials, and yeah, so super excited about that. Cool. Uh, there'll be more. There'll be more coming there too. Yeah, I, I've noticed a few of the uh, out of home signs that says like. Uh, Welcome to the land of 10,000 lakes, crossed out into the PFP. I've noticed yeah. it's a pixel ball thing. That's, uh, that's pretty fun. So we'll see more of that. We have a, we have a sports one coming out tomorrow. So. We have a sports one. Amazing. Yeah. And then what else is up next for you in this whole pixel ball sports world? Yeah, so uh, adding to that, um, for the same reasons that we worked with Adidas last year, right? Wanting to work with sort of these incumbent huge companies that really were trying to enter the space for the right reason. Um, you know, with, with all the success come a lot of people that are just sort of like looking for a dollar. And that's really not what Pixel Vault's about. It's about people that are here to build long term, not, not a cash grab. And so as part of that, uh, we've, been, we've been taking all these really exciting conversations. And I was luckily, lucky enough uh, to meet Dana White, uh, his, his son Aiden, and his nephew Will. And so that's actually the next piece of PV Sports is we're going to be telling the story of, uh, of these athletes in MMA uh, through sort of like a, a true mixed martial arts background. Uh, Will and Aiden are really passionate about the anime style. And so his son and nephew will be joining our team to help put together this, this truly amazing project, uh, tying both storytelling and real life activations with the UFC together. That's amazing. Um, I, I heard as we're coming in that there's a video that you might want to share? There is a video. So uh, they wanted to be here today. They, ha they had a, uh, uh, a family conflict, but I know they, uh, they sent across a video to share with you all. I'm UFC President Dana White. Over the past year, NFTs have exploded in popularity. My son Aiden and my nephew Will have spent a ton of time researching and immersing themselves in the world of NFTs, and they found the perfect partner who's a big player in the space to build something epic. That's why I'm excited to announce a joint venture with Pixel Vault, Endeavor, and my family. Over the next few months, we'll be working with Pixel Vault to create comics, content, and blockchain games inspired by the stories of some of our favorite athletes. If you are a fan of martial arts, you're gonna love this project. More to come soon. Ooh, wow. That is pretty epic. Um, clearly, you guys are doing a lot. Um, I can only imagine how busy, busy you yeah. must be. Yeah. Um, before I obviously like close this out, I just wanted to see, is there any other things that you wanted to, to share or anything that you wanted to dive into? I, I will say, um, what I've understood so far from this conversation is that you are truly building this like future of entertainment. You're driving new IP, which I can't wait to see more of. You're doing it in the form of comics, which I've luckily been an owner of, but then I also see that you're diving into true content and other forms. Like, I, I heard him say blockchain games. So, and you mentioned that earlier. So, yeah, anything else that you'd like to share before we... Yeah, I mean, at the off? end of the day, this is all about trying to tie together something that we really enjoy in stories to our community. You know, at the end of the day, Pixel Vault is about unlocking stories with our community using NFTs Leaning, to, leaning into the concept that code is art, right? Why is something a blockchain project? And I think not enough people really think about that. You know, it should be, the blockchain should be enhancing the effort, right? There are so many ways that we can tie together community with storytelling and really lift up a lot of voices that are unheard today. So, you know, it's just my relentless focus to continue to uh, empower our community, continue telling awesome stories and working with people that can help elevate these voices. Yeah, I love I'm thankful to be in your community and I'm grateful that you're able to share some of the early alpha with all of our V friends. So um, thank you for the time. It's good seeing you. Thanks, Nate. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody.